y'all, it's Charlene from the Crafty Art Shack, and we're here today with another challenge video. We hope you enjoy it, and let's get to the craft table and get started. Let's go. All right, here we go with DIY number one. And for this DIY, you're going to need all of these little uh, magnets that I made in this video up here. Now you're going to want to take some tissue paper, stuff it in the bottom of your basket first. Then you're going to take some of that crinkly paper that you get from the Dollar Tree. And I chose the brown one because it fits my project that I'm doing here today. And I'm going to start placing each one of my little magnets in this gift basket. Now there's one for every month. And if you go back and watch that video, you'll see how we made these out of mouse traps. Then once you get them all in there, then you're going to want to take some more of that crinkled up paper and put it in the front to kind of hold them in place while you put it in the sh your shrink wrap bag on it. Okay, now you're going to take a piece of shrink wrap. Now this is a bag that I had a piece of it left over from before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take in, put it around my little basket and you're gonna make sure you got all your little stickers off of it and everything. And I'm gonna just fold it up there on the bottom and then I'm gonna tape it with some scotch tape. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work on the uh, sides and I'm gonna fold each side in to the back and then I'm gonna tape that in place as well. Next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna tape your top down and you're gonna fold it towards the back and then you're going to tape it down. Now once you get that top done, then you're going to shrink it down with your heat gun or your uh, hair dryer. And when I got done with that, I put a little tag on the bottom of it from Crafty Art Shack. And then the next thing we did is we started decorating the front of it. I made it a little bow out of twine and I'm going to put a bell on it. And then I'm going to add some extra embellishment as well and we'll see the rest of this at the final reveal and this challenge is we gift you a merry christmas is hosted by crafty hints co-hosted by six kids and a glue gun and rustic and lace you guys go check out these ladies and there's a playlist in the link below go check them out because there are some awesome ladies on this playlist and here we go with diy number two now this one was brought to us in this video here, one or, one of a kind of ornaments. And all we did was take some shrink wrap, wrap it up around this. It was just a piece, it was a long rectangle, and you see the sides are open. So we're just gonna wrap it up at the top and tie it off with some twine until we get the sides taped down. And basically we're doing this just like we did the other one. You always want your stuff to go to the back so that when the, they look at the front of it, it is beautiful. Now these little blocks are made for the Ronald McDonald House, so I needed to package them up anyway, so I could get ready to send them over there for the holidays. After you got that all done, you wanna go back and shrink wrap it so that it forms around your blocks, and then you're gonna to wanna to put some lace on it and some embellishments on it to make it look like a cute little gift. And that's what we're doing here, and you'll see this at the final reveal. Here we go with DIY number three. Now this one, we made this little truck in this video, Christmas Inspiration DIYs. And we're gonna take and stick it down in a, another shrink wrap bag. Now this one is a full bag. And this was very hard to get into the frame for you to see, but it's gonna look better at the final reveal. You'll basically just stick it down in your bag, pin the sides back with some tape and tie it off at the top and then shrink wrap it. And you'll want to make sure you have everything in your little uh, truck when you do this. Now this little truck can be used at any time of the winter months because we didn't set it for a specific season. So after, even after the holidays, you could take and put mail in this or whatever, or leave it out for display. So we are going to see the rest of this at the final reveal. We'd like to take this time to thank our subscribers for subscribing. We love you bunches and we appreciate everything that you have done for us and our channel. And here we go with DIY number four. Now this DIY, I had made some strawberry jam 
And what I'm doing here is I'm drawing out a circle on a piece of paper to put over the top of my uh, jar there. And I have these little pieces of uh, buffalo checked vinyl and I'm going to place it over that little circle I just drew and trim it out and then I'm going to put it over the top of my jar and that way it'll look pretty in the basket. Now once I get that done, I'm going to take it and I'm going to set it on top of the jar. It's a little too big, but that's okay because I'm going to take and push it up into my little uh, ring that goes on my jar and I'm going to press those edges up in there and it won't matter if it's too big. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a little uh, jute bow on the jar and I'm going to add a little card to it and it will... On that little card there will be it's a crafty art shack business card I just punched a little hole in it and stuck it on there and then tied it off and you can put the ingredients on the back of this little card now the next thing I did is I got this little basket that I had picked up somewhere I don't know where but I got I put some tissue paper in the bottom of it and this time I'm going to take some of that black crinkled paper and I'm going to put it down in the bottom of my basket. Now I'm going to start placing my items in the basket. So the next thing I did is that the basket needed a little filler. You know how you always open up those packages that have stuff in it and you're like why did they put this in there and then you realize it was to hold everything in place. That's what we're doing here. I found this little box that would fit just right in my basket and I'm going to wrap it up pretty like a present. It's nothing's in it. And I'm wrapping it up so that I can put it in my basket as filler to hold things in place. Then once I get everything in place, you want to make sure that you're putting everything in line with your handle when you do this project. Now what I'm going to do with this little sign is I'm going to put some double-sided tape on the back of it so that I can put it on this uh, box and hold it in place. And... I just put three little strips on there. Now this is the cheap Dollar Tree stuff. It will come right off when they open this up as a package. Now all of these things that you see going in this basket were made on that video that just popped up. I'm going to stick my little jam in there. Then I'm going to stick my little um, magnet in. And now I'm going to use the side of the basket to kind of help me out to hold it in place. Uh, I fumble around with it for a few minutes and then I figure out, okay, I got this. I can hold it in place with that. And then I take that little um, light switch cover and stick it in the basket with it because this is a whole farmhouse basket of items. And then I've got two more little items to stick in there. And I put those in there and then I'm going to take and put one of those Dollar Tree bags that's just a gift basket bag. This one does not shrink wrap. And I tie a bow at the top and I'll pin the sides back just like I did on the first one. And I'm showing you how I gather the top. And then I just take a piece of tape. And if you put that piece of tape on there to start it out with and then start wrapping it around, it'll hold it tight. And that's what I was trying to show you in this video. And we'll see the rest of this at the final reveal. And you guys, here's all the other places that you can go find us on social media. Hope you check us out. And here we go with DIY number five. Now these DIYs on this one came from this video right here. And this is what you're going to need to make it. It's a pot holder, three pipe cleaners of your choice, a bow and a ribbon and a spatula and that little flower and a dish towel. And you're going to scrunch it up on the sides with your finger. Now, if you want more details for this video, you can go over to that video. It's in my, go type in the, look for it under the videos tab. And so what I'm doing here is I've took those and I've twisted it around. And I'm going to leave my three pipe cleaners sticking out. There's my little uh, flower. Now I'm going to glue it to the shiny side of that ribbon and I'm going to wait for it to dry before I actually tie it on to this project. And as soon as it dries, then I'm going to bring my project back over 
and I'm going to tie it on. Now, the first thing I do is I take that little spatula that came from the Dollar Tree. All these items came from the Dollar Tree, twist it on there, add your little ribbon and wrap it around the backside and tie it on. And we will see the rest of this one at the re final reveal. Now, here we go with the final reveal. You guys, these turned out so cute. There's our little gift basket of magnets and our little ornament that's going over to the Ronald McDonald house and our little ski patrol truck with all its little items in the back and our country farm gift basket and these little towels. These are quick gifts to give to somebody. Again, today's video, We Gift You a Merry Christmas, is hosted by Crafty Hints, co-hosted by Six Kids and a Glue Gun, and co-hosted by Rustic and Lace. You guys, I hope you've enjoyed all of these little gift items that you can do. And you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go check out those ladies on that playlist in the description box. And we'll see you later. Bye! winter time of the year yeah <laughs> and we've enjoyed working with our... <laughs> i messed up hi y'all it's charlene from the crafty art sack and today we're piss <laughs> patrol truck it just do a... <laughs> today with three old timey crafting videos or yeah not videos <laughs> you guys we hope you enjoyed this video and be yeah hi y'all it's charlene yeah, it is. <laughs> and you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Go check out those ladies on that playlist in the description box. And we'll see you later. Bye! <laughs>